Hello and welcome to the demonstration of Social Squared. Social Squared is a discussion forum tool that can be used for Microsoft Teams either as a tab or as a personal app and also inside of Microsoft SharePoint as well. So here we have the Social Squared app already added as a Teams tab and we're just going to maximize that so we can get the best use of the screen. Over on the left hand side here we can go into the forum settings and we can do this as a site owner with inside the SharePoint or also as a Teams owner. And I can go through and add some forum groups which will provide the logical layout for my users to be able to post their questions and therefore be able to find the answers to those questions easily in the future without having to navigate lots of content. So first of all, I'm going to go through and create a general discussion forum group. So we'll go through and add that. And each forum group can have multiple forums. So in here, we can click on to view forums and add a new forum in here. And we'll just have the word general again as the uh, title. And we'll have general description here as my description. Now, optionally, we can also add moderators. Uh, moderators have the ability to go through and approve or decline posts. They can also modify posts or move posts into a more appropriate forum. And of course, they may be able to uh, provide feedback on those uh, posts as well. So I'm going to click on to add without the, uh, the moderator. And that provides for me the first general forum. And we can also navigate back to the forum groups and add another forum group. And in here, I'm just going to put in recipes. but of course, the discussion forum groups could be for a technical nature and all sorts of uh, types of topics like that. So if uh, we wanted to have perhaps a question and answer session on technical questions, we could go through and create maybe a forum group called software and we could have forums such as SharePoint and Teams, mobile devices and things like that. So in here, we've got the general discussion forum group and we've got recipes forum group. I'm just going to click here into the recipes and add two new forums. So we'll have cakes. So we'll have a cake description going on in here. And I'll add another one here called cookies as well. And in there, we'll have a cookies description. OK, so. This is our forums and we can go through and edit some of the properties of those forums at any stage by just clicking on to edit. That allows us to change the order of those forums inside the forum group. We can also, again, configure the moderators and so on. There's also some global settings for Social Squared as well, uh, which you'll find. And they can be uh, discovered by clicking onto the downward arrow of the tab and clicking onto settings. And in here, you'll see the ability to refine uh, the rich text editor options, which you'll see in a moment, and also things like pagination uh, badges that you can earn the more you post and reply to posts and things like that. And uh, also, uh, in here, we've got the ability to show or hide different forum groups. So this is especially useful if you've got maybe different channels with inside Teams and there's going to be forum groups that are more specific to each channel. So you can go through and display the most relevant forum groups uh, on each channel with inside your Microsoft Teams. So uh, within there, we can go through and create a topic. So I'm going to navigate here into the general discussions topic and uh, we'll add a new topic in here. And I'm just going to add the uh, lorem ipsum. So we've got some text. Uh, so in here, we'll go through and grab a bit of text. I just want to grab one paragraph. There we go. So we'll copy that, paste that in here. And notice how you've got things like the spell check going on. We can also go through and uh, insert uh, images. So we can uh, grab an image. Uh, so here's a, an actual screenshot of Social Squared. So I can drop that onto the page. And we can choose how we want to embed that uh, within our post. You've also got things like the uh, ability to highlight. Uh, we can in insert emotion icons and things like this. So as I scroll down, we've also got the uh, the ability to add tags. So uh, so in here we can add the tag of lorem ipsum and click on to add for that one. And that's my new uh, topic created. So in here we'll get a list of topics as users go through and uh, and create each one. Uh, now if we go into this as a a user that's going to be reading a topic, notice that you've got the uh, the ability to do things like delete topic if you're the person who created it. Um, we have move topic, which if you're the owner of the site or you're the creator, 
uh, or moderator of the forum, you can go through and move the topic. We can also make it sticky so it remains at the top of the forum. We can lock it so nobody else can respond. Uh, we can have a threaded or a flat view. Uh, and also we've got things like show featured and show answered should a post reply be marked as featured or marked as answered by another user. And finally, we've got the ability to subscribe to the topic or also at forum level as well, which would allow me to which would allow me to be notified if anybody had responded to this topic. Over on the right, we've got the uh, ratings. So users can rate my post. They can also like the post or vote the post up and down. And uh, of course, down at the bottom here, we've got the ability to reply uh, or edit since I was the, uh, the user who created this in the first place. Okay, so if we were to hit reply, uh, here we are with my reply and I can hit reply there and we've now got a response to that topic with inside the thread and we can see also the number of badges that have been awarded to me for the number of posts that I've created. Okay, so there's also a number of other useful views down the left hand side here. Uh, so we can see things like the uh, most popular topics. We've, uh, we've also got recent activities. I can see also active users and I've also got the tag cloud as well. So we can go through and jump to the topics based upon the tags that were created. And of course, you've also got the ability to search. So if we wanted to search on a particular keyword, uh, that's going to search our posts for me and I'll be able to uh, read any of those and of course reply from there as well. So that's Social Squared with inside a Teams tab, uh, but also notice on the left hand side here, we can go through and add Social Squared as a personal app. And that means that it's going to be typically organizational wide and not necessarily going to be just team specific. So anybody in the organization can access the personal app from in here and we can go through and uh, pin that to other users through the Teams admin panel. Okay, I hope you found that useful and uh, I look forward to speaking to you again soon.